Praise the Lord. Amen. I just want to do a quick video today about what we're going through, the whole world's going through with this COVID-19 coronavirus and how people are being swept in and, and thinking about, okay, what's going on? What's going to do? What's going to happen? And becoming fearful and anxious and worrying about what's going to happen. How long is this thing going to go? And what are we going to do? Amen. So let's take a look to the in the word. What does God say about, you know, about this? What should we do according to the word of God? And how should we go, you know, about our day and, and think what, what to think and what to do? Let's see. Let's turn to Psalm 46, starting at verse 1. To the chief music, musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Alamoth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear through the earth be removed and through the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea, through the waters thereof war and be troubled, through the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Sila. There is a river that streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, so she shall not be moved. God shall help her in that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he has made in the earth. He makes wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Amen. So right there, it seems to me like even in times of trouble, even in anything, you know, call upon the Lord. Call upon Jesus Christ. You know, call, call upon God Almighty. Amen. And he will give you peace. Amen. Hallelujah. So I know I know people in my family and my friends that they're all, you know, getting, if not fearful, they're focusing on COVID-19 and what's going to happen instead of focusing on, on the Lord. Focus on the Lord. Keep, keep your eyes on God. Amen. You know, uh, not everybody has experienced things that I have, but we look into, we all have the same Bible. Amen. And we all have the same creator. And that creator loves you. Just know that. Amen. And the Bible says also, 2 Corinthians 5, for we live by faith, not by sight. So, if you look at what's going on, the whole world's going to, you know, Turn into jello and the fear and the whole shaking. Oh no, what's going on? You know, we live by faith. We've got to let the Lord's will be done. Let God's will be done. Amen. And God will provide everything we need. God will meet you where you're at and will give you the desires of your heart according to his will. Amen. In John 14, 27, let's take a look. It says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. So Jesus, that's what Jesus said. He's going to leave us his peace. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost will be with you. But you must be, you must repent first and you must be born again. That comes, you know, that's the requirement. Because Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And that is love. You know, God sent his only begotten son to die for you and I. And we have to repent. That means repentance means change your mind, change of heart. And turn away from the, the sin, all the sins. Get rid of all the sins and give it up to God. And God will throw, throw it from as far as the east as from the west. Amen. And live for Jesus, live for the Lord. 
see, Psalm 29, 11. In Psalm 29, 11. Let's see. It says... The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Amen. In Matthew 6, 34. There, take therefore no thought of tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take the thought, uh, thought of the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Amen. So don't worry about tomorrow, Jesus said. Also in Romans 13. Let's see. Hallelujah. God's good all the time, all the time. God is good, amen? It doesn't matter where you're at. God will meet you where you're at. And that's uh, li the living God, the only God, the only true God, amen? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God, the powers that are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves that make damnation. Amen. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and you shall have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to you for good. But if you do that which is evil, be afraid. For he bears not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that does evil. So that's, you know, love, this is a loving God. The Almighty Yahweh, Jesus Christ, is a, a loving God, but also a God of wrath, also a God of, you know, very strict and very, very holy. He's not going to put up with sin. He's not going to put up with, you know, going against, going against them. Amen. And so, also... I want to touch subject on, in the Bible, the Bible says uh, all authority is appointed by God. So we have to listen. You know, this COVID-19 thing is, it seems like a lot, of, there is a lot of lies, there is a lot of what's going on, but even if it's real or not, we have to obey the authorities. As long as they say, oh, you're not allowed to read your Bible, not allowed to talk about Jesus Christ. Then we hey we go we we gotta listen to God about on that point, on that topic. But you want us to stay home, okay. You want us to wear masks, okay. The church is shut down, okay. But we're still gonna assemble. A few of us, you know, a few here, a few there. You could do it online. You know, still fellowship, still be in fellowship, still be in prayer, still still be in the Word. Amen. This book. It's going to be read by me until the end of my life. And then after, I'll be I won't need the Bible. I'll have the living word right with me. Jesus Christ will write with me. And we'll, you know, forever rejoice in heaven. But until then, until that day, I'm going to read the word. I'm going to preach the word. I'm going to fellowship with other believers. Amen. According, you know, to the word. Because I listen to God. More than man. I listen to man too. The, the, the police, uh, the government authorities, okay. Small gatherings, okay. That's fine. And those who are, you know, going against that, telling, oh, we can have church, who, who does it matter? You know, we're not going to get sick, this and that. They're going against the word. Because didn't Jesus say, give to Caesar what is Caesar's? This and this, you know? Jesus Christ didn't go against them, like be a rebel. He, he listened, okay. Let's go to the cross. He didn't he didn't fight back when they were beating on him. Amen. So it's very interesting. Yes, God appoints all authorities. So I know that for sure. I used to be very very rebellious before, but now I'm okay, listen, okay. I pray for the police, I pray for our government. Even though they're corrupt, you know, I 
I still I still have to listen because I listen to God first. Amen. I trust God. I trust the Lord, not government, not authorities, but I do pray for them. For some, for their salvation in Jesus' name. Pray for our president. Amen. You guys have a blessed day. Hope was, this was encouraging to you. Amen. Talk to you soon.